my channel. In this video I'm gonna show you a new eyeshadow palette from Dior Summer Collection. This is Dive and it is a new limited edition with five beautiful shades. There is a fuchsia shade, a berry violet tone, a deep blue, an apricot shade and a very beautiful pastel light blue. There are also the two usual brushes in your palette. So if you follow the second part of the video where I created my eye look, uh, you will see that uh, this kind of applicator, I mean the sponge, is very useful especially for one shade of this palette. I wanna also show the swatches in the back of my hand. So let's start from the lightest shade and it's a beautiful apricot shade. It's very hard to let you see this shade because it's very close to my skin tone. It's got warm tones. Light blue shade. It's a pastel light blue. Now that uh, there is another color near maybe you can start to see the other shade together and swatch this fuchsia shade it is a beautiful orchid shade very very pigmented this is the shade I always reach for when I need to add a touch of blush on my lid. So it's beautiful because it's a, a, a matte satin texture, so it really works well. This very shade, I put it here. You can see it's a very deep, uh, berry violet shade. It really reminds me of uh, Berry Eye Pencil from Chanel. Uh, if you like that shade, that's an iconic shade, I mean, Berry <laughs> is uh, so famous. It's very, very close. Um, and um, it's beautiful to put uh, underneath uh, or also to add a depth uh, to, to um, your inner corner. This shade, uh, this blue shade, I show you with my finger and so and this is the blue shade as you can see the shade is beautiful it is definitely a mad eyeshadow and uh, i really thought uh, this shade was more vibrant uh, i really thought uh, it could have a satin finish Instead, uh, I see it's a matte, so I will show you how I try to make it work uh, to make it more uh, intense because I think that uh, the application of this um, eyeshadow, it really makes uh, the difference um, because if you apply it with a simple brush, uh, it doesn't uh, show uh, the right way. So if you like to see this palette in action please uh, follow the second part of the video. So let's start uh, applying the lightest shade and I take a flat brush I have no primer on my lids and this is a beautiful apricot shade very soft and it's got also a hint of gold so it's a it's very warm as you can see so if you have a look to your uh, account you can see there are very bold uh, colored look uh, with this uh, palette I 
really wanna try all the color to show them. Now I take the light blue shade that seems to be very beautiful. Yes, it definitely is. I try to take it also with my finger and you can build it up to have it a more intense color. Mm. Now don't forget that I put a warm color underneath so maybe by itself it could look also uh, more cool but it's very nice and beautiful. I want to try one eye different from another one so you can see the, how these colors are. Let's go pink here and blue tones here. Now I take the, the pink. Very beautiful. Beautiful payoff, beautiful shade, it's a really beautiful orchid color. Very intense and pigmented. Got two different brushes, one for the blue, one for the pink. So I don't turn it violet. And now let's take the, the blue. The blue is quite different, so I take a um, flat brush. It doesn't show why I do that. Well, you have to take it with your finger. I want to try with a wet brush. So some water, spring water, let's take a little bit, Good. yes maybe with a wet brush, I mean the shade is beautiful and I think the better payoff is achieved with your finger, definitely. Or maybe uh, you have to try also with a primer underneath because I I got no primer here. Violet shade. I try it underneath. Very beautiful shade. It's a very shade. I did here to give some depth. So this is the blue side and this is the pink side with some eyeliner and mascara on. This pink is extremely beautiful and it definitely works the palette itself. And also this violet, this berry tone, I mean, it's very, very nice. I love also this apricot shade and this light blue shade. This blue I really thought it was different in texture because the shade is, uh, is very nice, it's very beautiful but uh, as you can see I really uh, had to make it work. So maybe I think you have to use the sponge. Let's try it. Yes, with the sponge it works better.
yes with your finger or with a sponge applicator so I wanna try blue by itself so I removed the the apricot eyeshadow here and the blue and I wanna try to apply it blue only with my fingertips and see how it works so this is the shade by itself I wanna try to apply it with the, a wet brush Yes, definitely wet brush is uh, the right way to have an intense blue. So this is more uh, closer to the color I see in the palette. It's nice with other eyes this color. So the shade I said before, it's really beautiful and I love it. And you can see, and it works well also with uh, the violet shade uh, underneath. I mean, if you have other eyes, the shades makes you your eyes more clear. You see the difference. If I add blue to this. this fuchsia shade it really turns violet so now uh, let's have uh, a similar eye look I remove uh, I think the blue and I make my look more similar beautiful also apricot with um, this uh, light blue This violet is beautiful also to use it as um, a liner. I'm putting blue underneath with this bond. Maybe this is the blue I see um, on the model. I thought it was the pencil, but I'm not sure. I add a touch of um, latest uh, Dior Backstage Blush, this is Rosy Glow number 3 Pearl. If you're interested there is uh, a video about it. I applied a little touch of uh, more fuchsia shade here. Take the apricot as an highlighter. I take a bit your star uh, stellar hollow shine. This is the Dior is one of my favorite shades. When I see new Dior lipstick, I always choose a uh, bit your or something very close, and I can't buy always the same shade, but I love it. So I'm quite pale for a summer collection, I know. A little touch of loose powder by Guerlain Terracotta. I also have a video about this product that I really love. Especially now that uh, I'm pale, uh, it really helps me to have a little bit of warmth. This is my finished look. I really hope you enjoyed my video. If it's so, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me also on Instagram. See you soon. Bye.